I can't express to you how excited I am to show you this next cocktail. Hello and welcome to Intoxicated Masculinity. If it's Wednesday, we have a cocktail video coming at you. Today we're talking about the espresso martini and it was invented by Dick Bradsell at Fred's Club in the late 1980s. Um, again, as a cocktail, it's, it's not a ton of history behind it. He said he uh, had a, a, a young model that came up to him and asked him for a drink that would wake her up and fuck her up at the same time. And that's how the uh, espresso martini was invented. Um, so again, not all this is a story. It's a fairly simple cocktail. Uh, it should be said, and, and we'll kind of run into this, it is not really a martini. Um, you'll have a lot of these things. There's a lot of uh, sort of daiquiris, martinis, margaritas that don't really come anywhere near the original uh, sort of definition of those cocktails. Uh, but that's fine, because the definitions of all cocktails are a little vague, so we can call it a martini and be happy with it. Now, let's get some ingredients and put it in a shaker and put it in our mouth holes. Okay, we're back, and we have liquor, which is always good. Uh, okay, so this one we're going to start off with one ounce of a fresh brewed espresso. This was brewed about uh, 10 minutes ago, so it's just fairly fresh. It's still very warm, which... There's actually some uh, sh uh, uh, measuring tools you can get uh, that have a handle on them. So if you're doing hot stuff like this, those are kind of nice. Although I find them a little unwieldy for most circumstances. So one ounce of our espresso. We're gonna toss on a half an ounce of just a simple syrup. And we're gonna toss in a half an ounce of a coffee liqueur. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use Kahlua. Um, although we have been talking about doing an episode about coffee liqueurs. Um, and trying out some of those. I've got a ton of coffee liqueurs back here uh, and I would love to kind of try them against each other and see kind of which one holds up the best. Uh, Kahlua is very sweet. Um, so if we end up using it, if you end up using a different, uh, uh, less sweet coffee liqueur in this, you might want to adjust your simple just a little bit. And we're gonna finish it off with two ounces. Now the, the rum that he used is one that I don't have available to me. Uh, but he did specify a Polish uh, uh, vodka, so I'm going to use Belvedere, because that's a Polish vodka. All right, let's get this thing in a shaker and see what we think. Put this in our shaker and give it a good shake. You're never quite as strong as you think you are. All right, and this recipe calls for, not surprising enough, being in a chilled martini glass. So let's grab a, our chilled martini glass. We have our chilled uh, martini glass. Let's go ahead and double strain that in. Now typically what you're going to garnish this with is uh, three, uh, three coffee beans. Um, I don't grind my own coffee, so I don't have coffee beans. I suppose I could just sprinkle some coffee across the top, except I don't think that would be great. But, there we have our espresso martini. I like that a lot. Um, so, you're getting the coffee, but the coffee isn't, it's, it's not a syrupy coffee taste. It is a very light, it's very kind of, uh, I don't know quite what the right word is. Um, it's, it's not overpowering. Uh, so you're getting that nice, just kind of around the edges coffee, uh, but it's very clean. It's very clean, uh, but there's a rich flavor to it. This is actually a really good cocktail. I like that a lot better than I kind of thought I was going to. So I have made this before. This is my first time using the original recipe uh, from uh, Dick Bradsell. Um, I definitely liked this recipe more. Um, again, you're getting the flavor, but sometimes with, with a lot of the, your, your sort of gimmicky martinis, you get a syrupiness that I don't like at all that kind of holds on to you. This, you get none of that. It's very clean, uh, very, sort of deeply coffee, but not overpowering. Uh, it's, it's a really, really good uh, marriage of flavors. Yeah, as we get into our autumn months, I, I think this is a good one. It's, uh, it's still light and still fresh, but it's also got that sort of uh, deeper, deeper coffee flavors to it. I think you'll like this one a lot. So on that bombshell, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good drink.
somewhere.